The Thiesman 2013-14 Olympic season opened in Calgary, Alberta. No surprise. The guy they call Superman, Martin Stukars, World Cup champion, world champion. He's won more events in the last three years. He's dominated the sport like no one has ever seen. And here he, with a track record of the second run, he wins going away at the opening event in Calgary. Alexander Trekdiov. Look at Dominic Edward Parsons of Great Britain, his first ever World Cup medal. But Dukars was on a mission. Now they move south a thousand miles to the Olympic track at Park City. And Alexander Trekdiov of Russia does what he does best. He has the start record almost on every track. And on this day, Trekdiov cannot be caught by Dukars. In fact, Dukars falters. Trekdiov wins the gold medal. Martin's in second. Matt Anton of the United States, his first World Cup medal in a couple years. And Trekdiov celebrates. Now they move 2,000 miles east to Lake Placid, New York. Matt Antoine of the United States had never won a gold medal before. And on his home track, he delights the American crowd. He finishes with the first ever gold medal for the United States for him in Lake Placid. Matt Antoine, Alexander Trekdiov, Thomas Dukars third. Now they move after Christmas to Sauerland, Winterberg, and Marcus Dukars off the podium at the last race. But in this perfect bullet form, Dukars with a lot of Latvians on hand. Dukars wins his second of four races. Here's the standings. His brother Thomas in second, the Russian rocket Trekdiov in third, and they celebrate with the Belton's beers. Now they move to the Olympic track at Samaritz. Martins Dukars of Latvia, second at the end of the first team. But he posts an unbelievable time in the second heat, and he rocks away with the gold medal because his brother Thomas did not match his time. But his brother Thomas finishes with the silver medal. Matt Antoine of the USA again medals for the third straight race. They had two events in St. Moritz, Switzerland. Martins Dukars, he was first at the end of the first team this time. And in the second heat, he exits Horseshoe, flies in the bottom part of the track. No one can match Dukars, and he walks away with the gold medal. He solidifies himself on top of the World Cup standings. It's Dukars, Dukars, and how about Canadian John Fairburn? His first ever World Cup victory or medal on the Olympic track in San Moritz. Now they move to the seventh World Cup in Innsbruck, Austria. Guess who? Martin Stukars, the guy they call Superman, who's dominated the sport like no one has ever done. Perfect form all the way down the track. And Martin Stukars is on the verge of a triple trophy. If he wins three straight races, all six he wins 100,000 euros. Martin Stukars, he's the final result over Trekdiov and his brother. But most importantly, with the Latvian fans looking on, he's got a chance to win 100,000 euros if he wins both runs next week in Koenigsee. A couple hours down the road from Innsbruck, it's Koenigsee in Bavaria. Look at two cars. For the 100,000, he won the first run. He was the leader. The second run. He won 100,000 euros for this triple trophy from the FIBT. Martin Stukars, the reason they call him Superman, he wins it with a track record. His father gives him a hug. The most dominant athlete in Bobber Skeleton, Martin Stukars wins here in Codexy. He wins the World Cup title. He wins the 100,000 euros. He wins the European Championships. What a day. Code Dukars. Brother Thomas in second, Antoine of the United States in third for FIBT Television. What a year for Martin Dukars.